Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you guys how I edit photos for Instagram and how most models that I know edit their photos for Instagram. What to look for, some of the things to keep in mind while you're shooting, and then of course, how to edit the pictures and what apps I use. So stick with me, this video is gonna be very informational, coming right up. When I'm shooting, I tend to look for architecture architecture and buildings and the best time that I usually like to shoot at is um, just before sunset or early in the morning before sunrise um, because that's when you get like the best shadows and the best highlights from the sun. Another thing I like to pay attention to is looking at the shadows and the details from these structures and that's why I particularly like shooting with beautiful architecture because they have clean lines and lines that create very interesting shapes. So this for example would be a really good spot to shoot at. Okay, so I went ahead and did some test shots at that spot that I just showed you guys. And um, let's take a look at some of these images. So as you can see, this is why I love shooting just before sunsets, because you get really nice shadows, especially if you shoot in some kind of building with beautiful architecture, you're gonna get really clean lines. These are the types of pictures that gets a lot of likes on Instagram. So let's see, let's go ahead and edit this photo here. I think this one looks pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Photoshop is what I use typically. And then the cool thing about shooting raw, um, I did some other videos where I told you guys some of the differences between a professional photographer and someone who's just starting out. So if you shoot raw, you have full control to control the exposure after you shot the image. You can sharpen the image, you can control the highlights and things like that. So this is why I really love shooting raw. So with this, you don't want to do too much because most of it is going to be done in the app uh, that I'm going to show you guys afterwards. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. The very first thing I like to do is to duplicate the layer because if you make a mistake on the main layer, you pretty much have to start the whole project over again. So just duplicate the layer and that way if you make an error, you can always delete it. Next thing I like to do is to do some skin retouching. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the skin retouching here because I've done that in another video and you guys can find that on the top right corner of the screen. But anyway, my skin uh, looks pretty decent here for the image. So let's just go ahead and save this image and then we're going to send it to my iPhone and open it up with an app called Visco. So this is Visco. It's a free app that you can find on the Apple Store or Google Play. Um, I'm going to leave links in the description box down below. Um, definitely get this. It's a very powerful tool that you can use to retouch your images and add uh, cool filters. So once you've opened up Visco, just import the image and then you can sort of like open the pre-selected filters. The A filters are the ones that are very popular among uh, in influencers and Instagram models. Specifically the A4 filter, which is what we're going to be using for this demonstration. So once you've selected your filter, you want to play with the intensity. You definitely don't want to overdo it. And that's one tip that I would say is uh, pretty general for editing any image. Don't want to overdo the effects. You don't want it to look like it's been over retouched. So just think about being subtle with these filters and with these settings. So after you've selected your filter and you've adjusted the intensity, you can actually go into the additional settings and adjust the exposure, the contrast, uh, you can sharpen the image. So let's go through a few of these and I'll show you which ones I really love to use the most. So every image is going to be different and you want to adjust the settings accordingly. Um, one thing that I know is that a lot of Instagram uh, influencers, they have a specific look and feel that they go for. So my look and feel is what you guys are going to see uh, towards the end of this video. I generally like to use the A4 filter with a desaturated background and then I try to add a little bit of grain to make the image kind of blend together. Another reason that you might want to desaturate the background, uh, and this is a trick that a lot of Instagrammers do, is to make your outfit pop out a little bit more and to give your page a consistent look. Another thing that I tend to do is to use the fade setting which you're going to see here and I just sort of use that to blend the highlights and the shadows together a little bit more. So I'm not sure if you guys can see the big difference in the color, but from my iPhone I definitely can. So now we're going to save this image um, and export it to your camera roll. Um, 
and it's very simple to do guys so this app again is called visco you guys should definitely check it out uh, link in the description box down below um, so this is how I personally create a consistent look on my Instagram page and how a lot of Instagram models uh, go about planning and structuring their page. I hope you guys learned something new and if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one.